Because Academy. This video is mainly for Clement cell reduction and Old Kishner reduction. These two reactions have similarities and differences. We will see what are the similarities and what are the differences. The main difference is the reaction medium. So which is acidic and which is basic. The products are C. C double bond O is reduced to CH2. That's the main reaction of these two reduction reactions. So we can see the mechanism and the similarities and differences between these two reactions. At first we can see what is Clemenson reduction. Clemenson reduction is conducted in acidic medium and Clemenson reduction is reduction of carbonyl group to CH2 methylene group. C double bond O is reduced to CH2 that is Clemenson reduction and the main bond is it is conducted in acidic medium and zinc this is isolated Hg mercury. Zinc in mercury is known as zinc amalgam. So Clemenson reduction is the reduction of carbonyl compound to CH2 in presence of zinc amalgam and HCl or acid. The main bond is it is conducted in acidic medium. And when coming to Wolf Kishner reduction, it is conducted in basic medium. And Clemson is an acidic medium. That's the main difference between these two reduction reactions. But the product is same. CH2 is the product. C double bond O is reduced to CH2. In presence of NH2, NH2 is hydrazine. Hydrazine. In presence of hydrazine and a base. KOH, NaOH, etc. So, Wolf Kishner reduction is the reduction of carbonyl compound to CH2 in presence of hydrazine and a base. While Clemenson reduction is the reduction of carbonyl compound in presence of zinc amalgam and HCl or acid. So, that's the main difference between Clemenson and Wolf Kishner. So, let's see the mechanism of these two reactions. So, this is the mechanism of Clemenson reduction. We know Clemenson reduction is uh, taking place under acidic medium. So, there is H plus. So, H plus is there. So, now what will happen? The car this is a carbonyl compound. It can be an aldehyde or a ketone. So, uh, this carbonyl compound's oxygen has non pairs. So, these non pairs are donated to H plus. So, we will make a bond. That is shown here OH. Now, what will happen? Oxygen will get a positive charge. Because it is donating electrons. Now, the shift of electron takes place from this double bond. So, what will happen? Carbon will get a positive charge. Due to electron negativity of oxygen, oxygen will attract electrons from this bond. So, the bonds, electrons are shifted to oxygen. Oxygen will get, uh, is neutralized by positive charge and carbon will get a positive charge. So, oxygen has no charge. Carbon is uh, positively charged. Carbocation is formed in first series of steps. Now, two electrons come into play. From where these two electrons came? We know the reaction is taking place in presence of zinc amalgam. So, zinc is an electropositive metal. So, zinc will, uh, will be uh, in a state of Ezeren 2 plus. Ezeren 2 plus means two electrons are excelled from zinc. Two electrons are excelled from zinc. So, then two electrons will come into this reaction. So, what will happen? When one electron is donated to carbon, the positive charge is cancelled. Then another electron uh, come into play. What will happen? A negative charge is created. So, one electron will cancel positive charge and another electron will create a negative charge. So, a carbon and carbanion was formed. Carbanion was formed in second step. So, in first step, a carbocation is formed. Then, since electron, since electrons is come into play, then a carb anion is formed. Now, what will happen? 2 H plus. 2 H plus is from acetic uh, acid. So, 2 H, when 2 H plus is donated or come into play, what will happen? 1 H plus is uh, attached to OH and form OH2 plus. And another hydrogen is attached to carbon. That is shown here, this hydrogen. 
So whenever a OH2 plus uh, is formed, we know it will eliminate as water. So water is eliminated. OH2 plus is eliminated as water. Now when it is eliminated, carbon cation is formed. Carbon will get a positive charge. Now again the step is repeated. The two electrons will come into play. A carbanion is formed. And again H plus will come into play. CH2 is formed. One hydrogen is attached. So CH2 methylene group is formed from carbonyl group. So carbonyl compound is reduced to methylene group. Carbonyl group is reduced to methylene group in presence of acidic medium and the zinc amalgam. So this is the mechanism of Clemens reduction. Now we will see what is the mechanism of wolf kishner reduction. So we know wolf kishner reduction is taking place in basic media in presence of hydrocene. NH2 NH2 is hydrocene. So we are taking a carbonyl compound and a hydrocene. Now what will happen? A uh, water is eliminated. H2O. A uh, water is eliminated. So uh, we can write the rest of the compound as it is. C double bond N. This H2O is eliminated. Double bond N and the NH2. That is shown here. Now we know it is uh, conducting in basic media. So a KOH is uh, come into play. So what uh, KOH is K plus and OH minus. So this OH minus can abstract this H as H plus. This H will eliminate as H plus. So they will form water. So they can form water. So what will be the rest of the compound? C double bond N, C double bond N, NH minus. Because the electrons is donated to nitrogen. It is eliminating as H plus. When H plus is there, plus means donating electrons. So H plus will donate these electrons to nitrogen and NH minus. A negative charge is formed in nitrogen. Now what will happen? These electrons are shifted to here and these electrons can be shifted to here. A shifting of electron takes place. So what will happen? N double bond N and C single bond N and carbon will get a negative charge. Carbon is getting a negative charge and a double bond form is formed in between nitrogen, two nitrogens. And water will come into play. This water, this water it will come into play. Now what will happen? Water is H plus and OH minus. So this H plus can attack this carbanion no? because of negative charge. So this will attack this carbanion and form a bond. So the hydrogen is attached to carbon. And now what will happen? This OH minus is there. So this OH minus will attack the which, uh, which uh, part of the uh, compound? This part. This, this hydrogen cannot be uh, released as H plus and this hydrogen can be released as H plus. So this H plus and OH minus will form a water again. So what is the rest of the compound? C, H, two bonds are there, single bond N, double bond N minus. We know it is eliminating as H plus like in the first step, this step. So N will get a negative charge due to accumulation of electrons. So N get N got negative charge. So whenever N double bond N minus is there, we should remember this will eliminate as nitrogen gas. So N2 is eliminated. How N2 is eliminated? The electrons are shifted to here. And this will eliminate. So carbon will get a negative charge due to accumulation of electrons. From nitrogen, nitrogen is bond, and again water will come into play. Water is H plus and OH minus. So this H plus can attack this carbanion, and a hydrogen is attached. That is CH two. So C double bond two is reduced to CH two in wolf kishner reduction in presence of hydrocene and a base. So this is the mechanism of wolf kishner reduction. Now we can solve some problems. Okay, now let's solve these two problems. We are taking only two problems. 
uh, because Clemenson reduction and Wolf Kirchner reduction are very simple reactions and there is no particular case or special conditions for these reactions. So it's very simple. Only the condition, only the uh, mechanism is C double bond is reduced to CH2. So in first example, it is given zinc amalgam and HCl. So zinc amalgam and HCl is the condition for Clemenson reduction. So first reaction is Clemenson reduction. Now we have to see which function group is there. Is there aldehyde or ketone? So here it is ketone. Two R groups are present. And here a C double bond is there, but it is attached to nitrogen. This is a amide group. So we can reduce only aldehyde or ketone. So the C double bond O is reduced to CH2. And we can write rest of the compound as it is. This double bond O is not reduced. C double bond O and the pH. pH. So this C double bond O is not reduced. Only the ketone or aldehyde is reduced. So this is Clemenson reduction. And the second example is NH2 NH2 hydrazine and water toluene. Tolvin is solvent KOH. A base is there. So this is in basic condition. So it is Wolf Kishner reduction. This is Clemenson. Clemenson and this is Wolf Kishner. And here CO2ME is present. CO2ME is ester group. Ester group is a carbonyl compound, but it is not aldehyde or ketone, so it cannot be reduced. Here, see double bond O is present. It is a ketone. So, this C double bond O is reduced to CH2. CH2. Rest of the compound is same. CO2ME. Okay, let me summarize today's section. Uh, the Clemenson reduction is the reduction of carbonyl compounds like aldehydes and ketones to CH2 group in presence of acidic medium. So the medium is acidic in presence of zinc amalgam and the acid like HCl. While Wolf Kishner reduction is the reduction of carbonyl compounds like aldehydes and ketones to CH2 group in presence of a base and hydrazine. That's the main difference between Clemenson and Wolf Kishner reduction. So, when other uh, carbonyl compounds like acids or uh, any C double bond is given, it is not reduced. Only aldehyde and ketone is reduced in Clemenson and Wolf Kishner reductions.